Aloha, it's Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf. Today's video is a review of the PPC wing, the PPC surge wing to be exact. And I'm gonna go over what I, everything I like about this wing and also a few cons that I think could be improved. But overall, you know, I've tried a lot of different wings and can honestly say this is my favorite wing. I have it in three different sizes. This is the 3.8. I also have a 4.8 and a 5.8. That gives me a really nice range of wind conditions that I can use it in. So th this wing has been reviewed by the Subboarder Pro. They gave it a really good evaluation. And also there's a lot of reviews online. I'm gonna put a link below to the Seabreeze forum where a few people wrote some nice reviews on this wing as well. Blue Planet is the distributor of the PPC wing in the US. We have an exclusive distribution agreement with PPC to sell this in the US. So, you know, I'm somewhat biased, but I'm trying, gonna try to give you an honest review of the pros and the cons of these wings and you know I can honestly say after trying a lot of different wings I was really blown away by this one it's it has so many nice features and such good handling uh, really good power for the size but it also luffs really well so it has a nice wide wind range it's powerful in lighter winds but it's easy to depower in strong winds it luffs very nicely so on the wave on the wave it handles really well it luffs really nicely and, and feels very neutral. Last weekend, I interviewed Sam Loader, the designer of this wing. He's based in New Zealand. It's designed in New Zealand. And he actually went through 27 prototypes to come up with this wing design. And he worked closely with a professional wing designer that works for a lot of big brands. So a uh, really good wing designer worked with him to come up with this design. One of the features that I like too is having the center strut. If you look from the side, you can see it's kind of angled down a little bit in the front so that gives the strut kind of a lower center of gravity so when you're luffing it on the wave this wing has a really nice neutral feel to it it just luffs really nice and well in control and i think part of it is that lower center of gravity of the wing and then just that uh, full baffle too it has like a full length baffle all the way to the back it's not connected to the strut except at the very end and at the very front. So it has that, that loose baffle. And I think that's part of what makes it uh, luff really well. It has a nice amount of tension up here. So the tension across the front of the wing is pretty um, rigid. So that gives it a nice uh, powerful feel. You know, that has a nice forward draft. Um, so it powers up real nice and it goes upwind really well. So when testing this wing, Sam played around with a lot of different leading edge diameters to kind of get that part right. And it has a nice stiff frame in the front and that gives it that nice tension up here, I believe. Um, at the same time, it also has a little bit of flex in the tips. So the tips are quite thin and have quite a bit of flex. And I think that's what allows this wing to have a really wide wind range. So it's pretty easy to depower it. If you get overpowered, you can ride a bigger size, even really strong winds because it just uh, handles nicely even when it's overpowered and it's very easy to depower it or just have it in neutral when you're surfing or going into jibes or transitions. It's real easy to um, depower it. Something else I really like about this wings are the handles. So it has really stiff handles and it's easy to control the wings. I've, had, I've tried some other wings that have like a longer kind of a soft handle in the front and it just makes it really hard to control the wing when you're on the wave. Uh, this having a stiffer handle in the front as well allows you to kind of control the wing with your wrist. So it makes it easier to control it, keep it from flipping over and so on. And then of course these handles are also very stiff and rigid and, and uh, tight. So it gives you uh, a nice handling. So coming from the duo tone with this stiff boom was a little bit of an adjustment to get used to the handles, but uh, now I really like them and it, the placement of your hands kind of becomes intuitive after a while. Uh, but just having really stiff, tight handles makes it real easy to control the wings with your wrists and just gives you a nice tight handling feel versus some wings that have kind of a softer hand, softer handles that are harder to control with wrist movements. Another thing are the valves. It has two valves, one on the strut and one on the leading edge. And that's really nice for deflating it. It's quick to deflate it. You do have to unscrew them. So it takes a little bit longer, I would say, to screw in and unscrew these valves. So I would say that's kind of a, a negative, but 
at the same time uh, you know that the air is gonna, not going to come out when it's screwed in it's in there and like sometimes on some wings where you have to push the button or it twists sometimes it untwists while you're taking out the pump and then all the air comes back out so that never happens with these it takes a little bit longer to screw it in and screw it out but at least you know that it's solid in there and then it just attaches with a regular pump attachment so most wing pumps it just you don't need any attachments you just put it right onto the valve it has these little two little knobs so it basically fits right onto the valve so there's no attachments needed for the pump another thing that's nice is you can pump these up to eight psi i usually pump mine to a little bit over seven maybe seven and a half psi i think that's a good pressure and uh, these valves have been super solid i haven't had any issues the the strut bladder has a little string attached to the front so it kind of keeps it in place so another nice thing is is the leash so it comes with a leash it's a spectra line elastic spectra line leash it has a wrist leash attachment you can also i like to attach it to my waist leash so that it becomes a waist leash uh, one thing that i don't like about this leash is that there's no swivel attached to it so what i did is i added some lines and a swivel so during a longer session, if you don't have a swivel, the leash can get kind of wound up as you're flipping the wing over or jibing and tacking and so on. And then eventually it gets all wound up and actually gets shortened and so on. And, and then you have to basically stop and unwind your leash. So having a swivel in there eliminates that issue. Also, it adds a little bit of length to the leash so it's easier to get the wing um, past you if you have to flip it over and it got flipped upside down. If you do buy it from us at Blue Planet, and you mentioned this video, we'll include this leash swivel for free. So just mention that Robert said that you can get a free leash swivel. We'll include it for you for free. And also on blueplanetsurf.com, if you order this wing, we'll give you free shipping in the US and subsidized shipping internationally. So we can ship these anywhere in the world at a very reasonable price. I think really this is an excellent value. You can't go wrong with these wings. In terms of sizing, um, I'm 195 pounds. If I had to pick one wing for everything, it would probably be the 4.8. But honestly, my, my favorite size is the 3.8. And as long as there's a little bit of stronger gusts, even on a light wind day, if there's stronger wind gusts that I can get going with the 3.8, this is my favorite wing to use just because it's so much nicer to have a smaller wing when, for handling and so on. So as long as it's windy enough to get going with the 3.8, um, I'll try to use this one. But of course, on a lighter wind day, if it's like really light, steady wind, I can still get going on a 5.8 and have a lot of fun. So I like having all three sizes, of course, that's ideal. But if you have to choose one, depending on the location you're in, of course, as well, I would say probably the 4.8 is a good all round size to choose. Or maybe if you want to get two, maybe the 5.8 and the 3.8, that could be another option. But like I said, they, they handle well overpowered, so you can probably use a little bit bigger size. Uh, but you, you know, you do give up some handling with the bigger wing always. Another thing I want to mention is the leech line. So there's a, a, light, uh, a thin spectra line here at the trailing edge of the wing. So that kind of holds the power in the wing. So when, the, when you're powered up, and especially when you're jumping, this thing has a lot of lofty power. So it's easy to boost air, to get up in the air. And then as you're coming down, it has a, a real lofty feel. So it's almost like a parachute and lets you kind of down softly. And I think that has to do with this having a leech line and a lot of nice tension in the leech here. Keeps the power in the wing. And doesn't, of course, this wing doesn't have any windows. And if you feel you really need a wing with windows, then, you know, this one, one is probably not for you. But to me, I actually like not having windows. It makes it a lot easier to just pack it up um, easily. You don't have to worry about crinkling it. And also, just it's a lighter, lighter handling and more rigid and so on. So there's a lot of advantages of, to not having a window. And when I'm winging, I find it quite easy just to put the wing up and look underneath it when, to, to see what's going on. So I, I regularly, if I'm not sure what's downwind of me, I just bring the wing up like this and it's not not a problem really to um, to look under the wing so I don't miss having the no windows um, I, I think actually that's a bonus that you don't have windows in these wings okay so like I mentioned if you're when you're packing it up it's easy to deflate you just take both of the valves out 
pack it up and it fits into this bag real easily without crunching it up too tightly, which is a nice benefit to it has some nice reinforcements on the side here. So if you wanted to use it for uh, wind skating and so on, it's pretty, um, pretty well reinforced. It's a really nice combination of uh, strong solid construction, but also very lightweight. So this wing feels super light compared to other wings I've used. And uh, I'm not sure if it's just the weight of the wing itself or just the nice handling that, um, so you can actually hold it just by the leash and it has like a really nice neutral, neutral handling, which is something I really like about this wing. All right, so that kind of sums it up, uh, what, how I feel about this awesome wing. If you're interested in buying one, check out blueplanetsurf.com. I'll put the link down below and up here as well. And on our website, we include free shipping in the US and subsidized international shipping. If you're in Hawaii, come to our shop and we'll give you $50 off the wing or if your neighbor island will give you a $50 discount and you can just uh, pay the shipping, which is less than $50, so you actually save even more. If you have any questions, please give our shop a call. 808-596-7755 is the number, or check out the link on blueplanetsurf.com. Hope that answers most of your questions. Uh, also watch the video with Sam Loader, the designer. So thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. And subscribe down below if you're not already a subscriber. I'll see you on the water. Aloha.